Welcome back to Yaya and Mimi on the AT. This video will cover the section between Tefna T Gap and Trey Mountain Road. This section is um, a little less than 20 miles and we strap on our full packs this time with all of our gear and we stay overnight on the trail. We started on the first Thursday in November, which is the peak week for fall leaf colors in Georgia. There were six of us this time. It was Blair and I and Amber and Martin and Lori and Phil. And we brought two cars and we staged the first one at Unicoi Gap. Uh, we left Martin's um, ProMaster van there. And then we all piled into our van and we drove over to Tefna T Gap, which is the farthest north we got on our last section. Right off the bat, we had some beautiful views at Wildcat Mountain. And then we passed Hogpen Gap and then we stopped for lunch. We had um, peanut butter and honey on some of my homemade bread, and we all had a chance to sit down and take our packs off and relax. There were some beautiful climbs this day, and there were just spectacular views. We were able to stop, and it was a clear day, so the weather was just amazing, and we were able to um, stop and take lots of pictures. There was this one really cool rock overlook that we stopped and took pictures at um, that you kind of came to as you came down this one hill and it just had a really beautiful view off the back of it. Right around three o'clock we passed Low Gap Shelter and all along this section the creeks were just like billowing over the trail coming down off the mountain and so there were plenty of places to filter water and they were actually quite beautiful. Um, the creeks would go right over the top of the trail. And Lori brought a water filter called the Palatipus Gravity Works filter, and I think it had a four liter capacity. And so that made filtering water super fast and easy. We all shared hers. Um, there were a couple of times we used our Sawyer squeezes and would filter our own water, but most of the time when we were all right there together, we would use her Palatipus filter. We camped that night around Cold Springs Gap. There were several little campsites all along that area in the Cold Springs Gap area. Um, you would just go off the trail and you could see where there was a fire ring and a couple of flat spots where there had been tents. And we took advantage of one of those campsites. And uh, Lori and Phil were hammocking that weekend and Amber and Martin we're in a tent and then Blair and I were also in a tent and we were able to build a fire and sit around and have dinner together. And then the next morning when we broke camp, um, we got back on the trail and it was a lot of the same, just beautiful creeks coming right off the mountain. We were able to filter water, I think just like a mile in on our hike that morning. We made it to Chattahoochee Gap around 10 o'clock in the morning. The mile before and after Rocky Knob Shelter was some of the most beautiful section I remember on the Appalachian Trail in Georgia. It looked like the Scotland Highlands. There were, it was kind of a difficult part of it because it was very rocky and you had to be really careful. There was a lot of technical stepping on the trail but the rocks were covered in a beautiful green moss and all up the hillside you could see for far distances. And it was just a really pretty section of the trail. I'll always remember that section. Um, we stopped right around Rocky Knob Shelter for lunch and um, we took our packs off and we kind of explored the old Rocky Knob Shelter that was kind of down the, the trail. And Blair sprawled out on this one tree for a nap and the sun was like shining right down on him. It made a really cool picture. Right before one o'clock, we made it to the Blue Mountain Shelter and we took our packs off and took a little bit of a break there as well. Um, and then we had a little bit of a climb to get to the top of Blue Mountain and the views were spectacular there. And then shortly after that, we started to make our descent into the Unicoi um, parking area and I think that descent from Blue Mountain down into the Unicoi Gap was by far one of the most difficult sections and technical footing sections of the Georgia section of the Appalachian Trail. Um, it may have been just because we had full packs and we were coming down that but we had to be super careful. I know um, Amber and Martin both fell 
with their packs and there was one section where Lori lost her balance and was like almost leaning over this ledge and her trekking poles. She was able to dig them in and just get her balance and push her way back and that was super scary. So that section was, um, was challenging. Our legs and knees were really shaking by the time we got down into the parking lot and we just we wanted to kiss the pavement when we got down there. So that morning at Unicoi Gap, we also met um, my friend Julie and my friend Joni there, and they um, came to do the day hike with us. Um, we were gonna climb Trey Mountain and Rocky Mountain, and it was, uh, we had read on some blogs that it was a really beautiful section, and it really was, and so, we had eight of us then, and we started climbing, and it was a pretty steep climb out of Unicoi Gap first thing in the morning. Uh, there were beautiful views when we got to the first overlook. We just were like overcome with gratitude for the beauty of the world, and uh, my sweet friend Joni has a beautiful voice, and she sang um, for the beauty of the earth right there on the top, we took our packs off and she pulled up the lyrics on her phone and sang a solo. And it just pierced all the way down the trail. People were coming up and up the trail behind us and they were saying, wow, we thought we heard an angel singing. And, and it was just something that will always be one of my favorite memories of the Appalachian Trail on the Georgia section was Joni singing at the top of that mountain that morning. After we had eaten our lunch, we got back on the trail again, and there was this really beautiful overlook that we stopped at. And while we were stopped at that overlook and taking pictures, Lori pulled out her phone and um, took it off of airplane mode, which, because we keep our phones on airplane mode um, most of the hike to save our battery, but she had taken it off of airplane mode to check on her boys at home. And when she did that, a call, a call popped in from Martin. So Martin was our trail support that day. He brought us up in his van and just dropped us at Unicoi and then was gonna drive around and pick us up at Trey Mountain uh, Gap Road that evening. And we got a call from him and he's like, I have been trying for hours to find my way to that trailhead parking of Trey Mountain. And he said, it is impassable and um, there were huge ruts out and um, he was in our minivan and there was no way he could pass that without uh, being in a four wheel drive vehicle. And even some of the four wheel drive vehicles were getting stuck. And so he told us once we got to that trailhead at the end of our hike, we were gonna have to start hiking down the mountain, down that old country, or it's a forestry road. And so that's what we did. We made it to where we were going to get picked up and um, that was the day that we learned that when we came back, we would have to utilize the shuttle drivers. And um, the shuttle drivers were just fantastic answering our questions all along the way. And this time we were gonna actually need to use them for shuttle services. Uh, so we, we got to that top of that mountain, to that parking lot, and then we started hiking right back down the forestry road. And, and we walked and walked probably two more miles and we were seeing these huge washed out areas where it looked like you were walking through a lake and the road was just completely rutted out. There would have been no way for our minivan to make it. And um, when we finally did meet Martin, um, there were, he had come up pretty far up that road and it took us a long time to get down. So we would all pile in the van and then we would go a little ways and then, because at that point we had eight of us in the van so we would get out and walk beside the van so it wasn't so weighed down and the only um consolation prize for that whole thing was that it was a gorgeous fall day i mean just irreplaceable views uh on the trail that day 
the leaves were just popping and they were in just full color. And so all that whole walk down Trey Mountain Gap Road was the spectacular. And we laughed a lot. Um, people were passing us in their four wheel drive vehicles and laughing because here we were walking beside this minivan so it didn't bottom out on the trail. And uh, we finished our hike that day walking down the mountain.